and you'll be able to reflect on that. Um, so basically, the education here is not like uh, in most universities. We don't like to put students in a big amphitheater, 400 students in it, and then one lecture, and it's the competition of who is writing the notes the quickest, and then learn, and then just there in the exam, try to copy everything. Uh, here, it's very much based on practice, okay? We have many professors compared to the number of students. So the professor student ratio is very good. So you can have direct interaction with them and you can, uh, you know, have a hands-on training, uh, education approach. And it's about self-learning as well. We, we teach students how to learn on their own, you know, themselves. We have different courses, different programs. Um, so yes, it's, it's quite different in this approach. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but because of this different approach, we also have different class settings. It's not like big amphitheaters, as I mentioned, but we do a lot of uh, field visits. So learning in the field, we do a lot of company visits. We have many you know, partnerships with companies in the region, also in Istanbul. So for internships, it's great. All our international students are doing them. It is mandatory as part of the program. Uh, we do exposition, we do research with uh, you know, a poster presentation, Sometimes professor meet in a cafe outside of the university. So this is very uh, a modern, a modern approach. So the results are like this, you know, we have uh, all the programs ranking the top, like not all of them, but some rank the top 10 in Turkey as per the university entrance exam. Uh, students are quite satisfied of the offers in Agu because there is a national ranking for student satisfaction and AGU among 200 Turkish universities is top five for the past three years and number one among the public universities. So it is very good that the students seem to like what they experience in AGU. And international students also are very good. So usually they all have uh, good high school diplomas, international students. Plus usually they take international exams like SAT, ACT, or they already have taken A-levels uh, I, international baccalaureate, these kind of things. And for English proficiency, because all the programs are in English, as I told you, usually they take TOEFL exam or sometimes IELTS, but TOEFL is better in Turkey because it's being, it's recognized by the state. Um, we have many internship opportunities, as I told you, including for international students where they can use their English. They don't have to speak Turkish for these. They can go on exchange. Um, I have many international students that have gone on exchange in Europe, uh, in Asia, and the employment rate is very good. 95% of our students are active after graduation. Either they are studying at master's, PhD level, or they are working already. We are in the international ranking, some of them, and also national ranking. So there is the Times ranking that you may know. They have an impact ranking. We are in the top 200. QS ranking, uh, EEC region, we are in the top 200 as well. So you see, this is pretty good. And recently, because of the pandemic, the Turkish universities were ranked and Agu finished number one uh, in terms of online transition. All the courses were switched online. And also we took many me measures to uh, keep the education going on so that the students are not you know, uh, late in their studies. And Agu finished number one in this ranking as well in Turkey. Okay, second thing is research. So it's a research university, but the research is with a different approach again, it's interdisciplinary. So we try to combine the knowledge of these different programs and make students able to you know, use this uh, knowledge across the different engineering, for example, uh, uh, fields, but also not only, you know, they need to be able also to commercialize their products or their findings or their innovation. So it's about business also. So we try to cross these different boundaries um, so that the students, because now the job market is like this, nothing is uh, secluded anymore. So you have to have this overall across knowledge. Uh, some rankings about research. I agree is one of the best in Turkey uh, in terms of productivity of research and we are, uh, Professors regularly collect the most famous awards in Turkey. As well. And as I told you, there is this societal impact approach, which is very important as well. And uh, this is because education research is good, but we want to use this for a greater 
purpose, which is an impact on our community or the international society in general. So we try to work on real case, you know, case studies, real problems. We work with the companies and they, we help them on their, uh, you know, real life problems and real life projects. So it is not only theoretical, but specific as well. And uh, we focus all our actions on the 17 sustainable development goals that you may be familiar with. So there is always this in mind uh, when we create a new program or a new project, it has to tackle the United Nations SDGs. Our campus is open to the community, again, for this societal impact. So we are Stoffel uh, Test Center, SAT Test Center. We organize a lot of trainings and so on. And we have different programs and centers that you guys in the university can use in order to help the community, either for charity or to help you know, social development. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. There are some rankings measuring the impact of universities, including from Times uh, Higher Education. And Agu was ranked two years in a row since the creation of this ranking in the top 200, which it makes Agu the number one in this ranking among Turkish universities as well. This ranking, also world ranking about uh, measuring impact. You see Stanford University and MIT are number one in this ranking, but Agu in the world ranking here is 41st. And it's also the only Turkish university in the top. So you see, it's not only the theory and the vision, but it's being translated into results and only after seven years of activities. Now let's talk about on and off campus life for students. So what will happen between the day you enter and this day on the photo where you graduate? So basically you can see in the city, there is a lot of entertainment uh, options. So you have amusement parks, great cinemas, 3D cinemas uh, in the malls, ski center, everything, shopping malls you can see here. We have quite a few in the city. Kayseri as a city is 1.5 million inhabitants. So uh, according to my European standards, it's quite big. In Turkey, it's like the ninth largest city. So it's big, but it's not too big, like too overcrowded, like some other universities. Istanbul, for example, is 15 million. It's so huge. Kayseri is big, but you know, you can easily find your way. There is tram system, bus system is very clear. So that's, that's pretty good. Uh, for all the questions about scholarships, uh, there are scholarships opportunities. I will talk about them towards the end. Just bear with me, maybe two, three minutes more. Um, this is the campus facilities. So we have on-campus dormitories. They look like this, the classrooms. I told you everything is less than 10 years old. So it's quite new, uh, brand new equipment, library, uh, outdoor sports facilities. When it comes to sports here, you can see. Uh, we have a fitness center, campus canteen. I mean, there is a lot of things. There are a lot of things to do. There is at the canteen, you can eat for four Turkish lira every meal, which is something like nowadays with the exchange rate is something like 25 cents of a dollar. So that's, that's very cheap. So life in general in Kayseri is three times cheaper than in Istanbul when it comes to buying, you know, products. So... Turkey is already not so expensive, especially now with the Turkish lira being so low in value. So it's quite, it's, it's very inexpensive to study in, in Agri. Um, dormitories, they look like this. I mean, I'm not going to spend too much time on them. They are quite inexpensive as well. There are many clubs that you can join. And this is about sports and there is a great social life on campus, we have many festivals, uh, concerts, and so on. You can read about the students. You know, they have their blog post. If you want their opinions about the university, uh, you can go to these uh, websites here. You can watch them in videos as well. So that, uh, you know, obviously I'm working for the university, so you may be uh, worried that the information is not so true, but reading from the students directly, can give you more guarantee. And this is the information that you can use for you to know more about the university. If you want to get in touch with us, you can, you can use this social media account and email address. We will answer emails in 24 hours, always, okay? 
So when it comes to the fees, uh, basically I will switch to the website. Just give me a second. I will open it. I will switch to that. Okay, so here you should see my screen. So this is our website. You can find all the useful information on it, uh, on the university here and also on application. So basically when you click on, so Discover Agu, you can see all the data, you know, today I just gave you a brief overview of the key highlights, but if you want detailed information, it's here, everything is here. And if you want to apply to Agu, please know that you only have two days left to do it. We will close application on the 17th of August of this month. Um, so try to be quick. And to do so, uh, first of all, I will show you the fees. So basically the fees, depending on the programs are like this. For undergraduate programs, so bachelors, whenever it's a engineering architecture or life's natural science program, it's 3,057 Turkish lira per year. Please know that this amount may increase in the coming uh, days because the Turkish state wants to increase the price because of the value of the Turkish lira. But in general, in dollar, if I give you the amount in dollar, it will be something like $500 per year for uh, any of our engineering, architecture and life natural sciences programs. When it comes to leadership and management, so business administration economics, uh, it will be about $350, $400 per year. And School of Humanities and Social Sciences, it's about the same price, as you can see. So right now we are revising this, these fees, but in dollars, I can guarantee you that these are, the, these are about the prices, 400, 500 for uh, engineering, architecture, life, natural sciences, management, 350, social science, 350. When it comes to graduate programs, uh, the price is about $250 per year for tuition fee, okay? Housing, it's 500 Turkish lira per month. Uh, so right now in dollars, it should be something like 60, $70 per month. All right, so these are the fees. If you're interested in applying, again, I will show you again. You go to apply to Agu now, apply to Agu. Then you land on this page and you can look at the orientation program, welcome program that we organize for international students every year. It's very fun. You can read the regulations here. You can check the requirements for admission. Okay, I will open the file for you. And then you can apply online here. So let's click. So the requirements, you can pretty much find them here. So you look for your country. These are the international exams, you see, with the minimum requirement scores. And you can find your country in the list and check what we ask for the national exam every time, all right? So it works like this. And once, once you're ready to apply, so make sure that you have scanned all your diplomas, transcripts, passports, you, know, you have scans of everything. And you go to this platform and you just click apply here and you enter your information. So first of all, your country, and then you fill the info, you receive a verification code by email, and then you will go through the steps. I will not show you because uh, it takes maybe 20 minutes to do it, but it's very easy, it's free of charge. So you can apply in any way, in any case. So just try your chance. Uh, it's just that it's a bit competitive to be accepted because Agu receives 6,000 applications a, a year for, from international students, but we can only accept about 70, 80 this year. So it's a bit competitive, but usually when you have a good high school diploma and SAT score or ACT score, you have a good chance for admission. All right, so I think I'm done with the presentation. This was the main idea. If you want to know more, data then of course you'll find all of it on this website you can see the url at the top now we we'll look at some of your questions uh, you can type it in the chat and i will go through them one by one and and answer them okay so now i can see already some uh asking where the university is located in so it's kai city right in the middle of the country it's it's a nice place to live 
in and it's very easy to access, you know, with a flight from Istanbul, one hour, it's finished, and then five minutes to reach the campus from the airport. So it's quite easy. I can, I usually spend a lot of weekends in Istanbul. Uh, I'm there in like two hours top maximum with the, with the transfer to the airport. Whereas when you live in Istanbul, sometimes it takes you three hours with the traffic to go to the other side of the city. So it's not so bad. Um, I can see a question regarding the fact uh, that I am in Turkey, even though I'm originally from France. So they asked me why, uh, basically because of this university, you know, I was, I graduated from a uh, French business school and I was offered this opportunity to open the international office in this young university, new university, seven years ago, it was almost nothing. There, there were no international students, no partnership, nothing international back then. And then uh, I accepted the challenge and it turned out very good because it's a great living environment and the university has grown and developed so much and now is in international rankings with a great international community so yes it was the right choice and we 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 are convinced that the right thing to do is to continue expanding our international side and institutional side in, in general you know um we have a club for foreign students. Yes, we have a club for international students. It's called the AIA, uh, Agu International Students Association. And they are organizing a lot of events. So also when you read, if you want to get in touch with Agu students, when you read their testimonials, I, show, I showed you where to, where to find that. Basically, when you go to Discover Agu, you have here, uh, uh, you know, testimonial and you can find their videos and you can find their blog posts. So basically uh, at the end of the blog post, usually they have their email address. So you can contact them like this as well. Mm. Will there be a separate department dealing with us? That's a question. So no, like as long as you are in the application process and admission process, my team, the international office is taking care of you um we are processing the applications and then once the student is accepted we make sure that they can come uh, we help for the visa we help for everything and then once the students uh, are here we uh, welcome them and we show them and we explain all the processes and everything and then they are just like any other student able to go to every department and now it's their new home so they don't need us so much anymore but for the first three months yes they are very much in contact with my, my team. Um, so for the fees again, you know, like there is a question. So yes, it's about for engineering, the maximum tuition fee is about $500 per year. Um, then it goes down depending on the program. Business administration economics is a bit lower. Uh, social science uh, is a bit lower as well. But in general, you see $500 for such quality of education uh, and services in general, it's, it's incredible. It's the best quality cost ratio on the international market, I would say. Uh, so it's a great opportunity to be here. And now we have had quite a few rounds of graduates and they are all studying in great uh, top universities. Some of them decide to continue masters. They are masters here in Agri, but some they are studying now in Canada, Germany, uh, and I'm talking about international students from Kenya, from Pakistan, for example, and now they're in Canada, Germany, Spain. So studying master's PhD or some of them are working. So we have, for example, a student, he was from Albania and then now he's, uh, he's working uh, in an IT company in Denmark, for example. Um, so one question is, the latest one is, how do we learn the Turkish language? So, uh, as part of the curriculum, you know, I agree is a public university. That's why the fees are low like this. Um, as part of the curriculum, there is a Turkish course, okay? And we made that course a uh, language course, beginner's course for international students so that you can start learning, you know, Turkish, but it won't be enough for you to be proficient, you know? but by spending four years there in Turkey and by putting some effort, because everything in Agu is in English. 
So you don't need to you don't need to learn you know Turkish to graduate even you can. My Turkish is not so good, for example, because I work every day in, in English and I teach in English, so I don't have the opportunity so much. Well, I don't put the work so much to learn it. But if you really want it, you can do it. We I have many examples of students. They it was one of their objectives, so they did it, and now they work for companies where they use their Turkish in Turkey. So you have the capacity. There are some uh, separate. Uh, Turkish language programs that you can also join during the summer, for example, to boost your level. So these kind of things are possible. Okay. So uh, can you help us? One? So basically the dates, you know, so I give you some deadlines because now we are towards the end of the admission process. So today, today and tomorrow are the last days to apply. On Monday, uh, midnight one, so really like it's more like tomorrow night than Monday morning, actually. Uh, we will close admissions. We will close the application process. So you still have a chance right now to apply. And then we will expect students on campus for those who can obtain the visa and uh, travel. Uh, we expect them on campus on September 14th. So in a month, one month from now. Uh, and then we will start the welcome program. We will register the students. We will explain everything. We'll have to do some fun activities. And then the courses will start on October 5th. So it's coming very quick. And of course, because of these travel bans and everything due to the pandemic, we are uh, thinking of some uh, backup solutions with online methods so that everyone can really uh, join disregarding the problem that the, their countries are facing. So this is the, this is the plan. All right, so I will try to find another question which was asked. Let me check. I think I, I answered most of them. Okay, I'll tell you about scholarship opportunities because I didn't talk about this. So now you know the fees, right? But there are some scholarship opportunities um one is called tuition scholarship but the thing is that we are public university so we cannot give it too much we can only give it to maybe two students this yeah we gave it to two students this semester um and it covers the entire tuition fee cost okay and usually all the accepted students it works like this all the accepted students are ranked uh, by the selection committee and the students that are at the top receive this uh, free tuition scholarship. Then the second type of tuition scholarship is called Agu Top Achiever. So the international students, uh, every year, the, the best CGPA of every year gets free tuition for the following year. So let's say you came uh, in first year. And uh, if you have the best CGPA among all the international students of this year, then the second year you will not pay the tuition. And one question is, how many foreign students are there? So basically now we have 2,000 uh, students in general in Agri. We increase every year, but very progressively because we want to keep the professor-student ratio one for eight. So eight students, one professor, so that we can have this interaction and research, you know. So we increase the number of students every year progressively along with the number of professors. So right now it's 2,000, maybe in September it will be 2,500. So basically right now, 10% of these students are international, which makes 250 next month. All right, so I think we are reaching the end of the presentation. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to know more, don't hesitate to contact us, okay? Here, I will put again this on the link. You have the email address and everything. Um, we hope that we'll see you soon on campus and I wish you a good day and all the best and stay safe in this difficult time. All right. Thank you very much for attending. See you all. Bye, everyone.